cocoon of my mom. Also, my room is a big fat mess, but I got something cool that I wanted to share. Yeah, I'm kind of excited. First off, I wanted to say this piece of paper, I went and got another one. I got this piece of paper from Hobby Lobby. This literally, this spot where this piece of paper, this particular pattern was, Light. The spot where this piece of paper was, was sold out, but I saw this piece just like in a random spot and I looked around and I was like, okay, someone just like lay that there and they didn't, but it had a crease on the back. Do you see that crease? But it doesn't matter to me. I'll still use it because lamination. Also, I got a cool thing of vellum to do like a layer with in my Franken planner. I would like to do a different name for the planner, just my homeschool planner. Also, my mama is coming in today. I'm super excited. The kids don't know about it, so I've been trying to keep it on the DL. I went to Hobby Lobby and I was looking for smaller discs, because what I realized, I was seeing all of these like mini planners with the smaller uh, Happy Planner discs, and I had gotten the bigger discs, which I don't think I'm going to be able like this is a lot of papers in here and I don't think I'm gonna even be using that much. So I got this cute little baby planner. It's a happy planner. I got it for 40% off. Love a good deal. I was super curious. It's so cute. I figured I could use this to layer in my homeschool journal. Oh, I love it. Sisters, girls, gals, women, babes, mamas, ladies. I love all the ladies on the front. Just love it so much. So this is a little teeny tiny planner. Oh, it's got the booger thing. I just love that you can take stuff in and out. I don't like the booger thing. That's a problem. When you get a debit card in the mail and you get that little booger. I'm so sorry. Yes. I have a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Well, Ashley's gonna get upset if you eat my ice cream. Yeah, I know. Why don't y'all split the ice cream? Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. this is so cute. Can I just eat all of it? I don't think so. I'm gonna eat all of it. No, you're not. You're gonna split it with your brother. Okay, I gotta keep filming. Look at, you know those little boogies? The sticky of that is on the planner, but it's like a little baby version of a happy planner. And the reason I like this is because first off, I just wanted the, the smaller rainbow uh, discs, which I cannot find anywhere else and I wanted that. And then I thought it was cool to have this bullet journal style of month. And then if I needed to put like a week or something like that, I could put it in there. So I can layer that in with my homeschool planner, which is super cool. What a cute little tiny planner. Very excited about incorporating this. Whoa, I took that diffuser off. Oh no. I didn't hear you. I thought you I were keep getting to interrupted. Go to HB, I'll be right back. You don't want to go to HB later? Um, what was I saying? I keep getting around to people keep coming in. I don't even remember what I was saying. Mom's coming in and I wanted to go to this box that my friend Vanessa gave me. I'm so tempted to go ahead and put this together. I also wanted to do, I wanted to do a piece of art that is similar in nature. And I say similar in nature. Do you see this beautiful piece of art? I still have not a frame for it. I should just like put a frame like right there or just put it on the, ah! oh no. I got this. Wendy Brightbill, okay, this is a glare. I am like the biggest fan of Wendy Brightbill. I have a ton of her pieces in my home and I'm just, I love her so much. I love her style. I have tried to embrace my own style, but I do some of the things that she teaches because she teaches classes and she's just released a new class for florals and I think she's doing something like that. So that's exciting. But I wanted to do something like that on this black piece of paper because the cover that I'm getting for the Happy Planner, it's like a glass cover from cloth and paper. I've never purchased anything from cloth and paper, but I want to do a piece of art for the cover. So I thought I'd do that today for y'all <laughs> and go through this awesome box that my friend Vanessa gave me. Cause it's been literally, I have had this beautiful happy mail package for like two months or something like that. Let's see. Oh yeah. July 3rd. Yep. 
this is the issue is like I want to do things thoughtful and then it's like I don't have time to do the thoughtful thing so it ends up being too much later but she said it was okay that it'll be perfect time when I open it so I'm gonna set up and open this fun goodie box I can't wait to see what's inside and then do a little art piece for y'all <laughs> you'll notice that everything's the same because I don't ever clean my desk that's just the way it is so I got in these medium-sized discs and you might be asking what are you gonna do with those like that's wasteful or whatever you might not be thinking that that's what I'm thinking <laughs> I like the colors I like these colors too I felt like this painting I had a vision from the beginning that I wanted the cover of my planter to kind of be my version of the black with the bright it's not gonna be the same style it'll I'll show you kind of what I want to model it after when I get done with this year's planner I'll just have these discs as kind of like the to store it and then I'll start the next year and then I'll put it in this I think this is going to work really well if y'all have been around long enough you know that when I find something that I absolutely love that I stay with it like I, I'll do it forever I'm super excited so this is a little look into this planner so I love this bullet journal style and then I'll use these pages if I need to. So it'll be a B6 and then this will be layered like that at the beginning of the, each of the things. So like I'll have this and then I'll have the start of my weekly assignments. Yeah, that'll be nice. Oh, I'm so excited for that cover to come in. I literally don't have much time. Yeah, these colors look good. See how they're like really bright and they'll go nice with the black. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna use the Jelly Roll pen. I've discovered the best one that I love that has not been giving me problems is this. It's got a 10 on it. I don't know, what is it? Sa Sakura, Sakura Jelly Roll 10. This one I love. And I'm gonna do it kind of like, oh, my focus is going weird. Kind of like my florals. So they're very minimal. I did like 20 something days of flowers, like with a minimal flower. I've done it on craft paper. I thought about doing it on craft paper, but then I changed my mind. Something like this maybe. Here's my craft paper ones there that's just a sketch someone asked if I was gonna sell these and I thought about it that's pretty I could do that but like on the other side so what this is you might be wondering what kind of paper is that all it is is a piece of 12 by 12 textured cardstock from American Crafts textured on one side and I thought about doing the art on the textured side maybe i'll do that i'll do that so i'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing and i'm gonna be very minimal with this i don't want a ton going on and i want to try to match the colors in this these discs oh my gosh i literally have 15 minutes that's all i got so i'm gonna time lapse this and not go crazy with talking otherwise <laughs> we'll be here forever <laughs> Whoa, what was that? I decided I didn't like that one. So I'm gonna do it again. I have not done art in a very, very, very long time. My embracing imperfection muscle is a little bit atrophied right now. So I'm having a little bit of a problem, but I'll get there, I'll get there. figured out what it was. I was being too rigid with my lines. I need to, I need to loosen up. I don't really 
really like that at all. Oh, I'm having such a hard time. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I need to keep it super simple. 10 minutes. Also not liking the size of this brush. like two minutes left. I have not done this in so, so long. Um, it's uh, definitely, <laughs> I need to practice some more for sure. So what it definitely needs is scribbles. It's coming back to me, but that was just a quick thing. And then I think I want to put here, um, like the 2000, let me be 20 to 21. Would that work? I will be back. I gotta go. I gotta go. It is several hours later. I got my mama. It's funny how when you come back to something, you like it a little bit better. Or for me anyway, that can happen. I came back and I was like, oh. That's not too bad. <laughs> but I kind of want to try putting the date with my stencils. Really love this stencil. Use it for a ton of stuff. I'm getting a new uh, design that's going to be more like a, like this and then down here. If I do that, then I won't be able to use this for the next year if I want to. Do you know what I'm going to do instead? I'll tell you what I'm going to do instead. Because I just had this brilliant idea. I think it's brilliant. Anyways, I think what I'm going to do, because it's a disc thing, I can take some acetate and then put like a fine sticker so that it would be sitting right here. It's clear. Is that a good idea? I don't know. I'm going to move this away. I'm not going to work on it anymore. Instead, I'm going to... Do what I said I was gonna do. Open this box. I have not opened this box in so long. It's such a pretty box too. She like decorated it and everything. <gasps> what the heck? Oh my gosh. What is she doing? This is a, something cool. What the heck? What? Oh my gosh. So stinking sweet. This is a vintage tin, which look how she put like a bow on it and everything. I don't want to take it off yet. Okay, we were at sister camp pre-pandemic like actually pre-pre-pre-pre-pandemic we went to the antique stores and everyone was snatching up these vintage tents and I was like they're like old toolboxes and stuff um basically is what they are they got them and I was like oh man that's a bummer I really wanted one I mean it was a, it was a disappointment but I got you know I got over it she wanted to give this to me last year's sister camp retreat I heard your little heart drop wanting one of these vintage tins and since I grabbed a bigger one on my travels I thought you'd be the perfect friend to give it to I hope you enjoy it and find that it brings you as much joy as it did me it does Vanessa you're the bomb if you have not followed Vanessa's 
Instagram, YouTube, all the things. Please do. She's awesome. She's one of my favorite Illustrated Faith Bible folks. She's got the coolest Bible, and I love her so much. And seriously, Vanessa, this, this is such a kind gesture, and I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to use this in my studio. I love you. Well, I think this is a great <laughs> high note to end on. I'm going to go visit my mama. Um, she's washing grapes. She's about to freeze some grapes for, she says it's her candy. <laughs> so I love y'all so much. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.